Maybe you've seen it, Google's Street View car crossing America, its detached mechanical eye recording every avenue, and sometimes capturing us in its glare. You could see it as cool or intrusive. Photographer Doug Rickard sees it as the makings of art. All of these lines, looking at the camera, this especially here with this sort of tilt forward of the head, it just embeds into it a certain sort of, I guess almost like music in a way. From his home studio outside Sacramento, Rickard has traveled thousands of virtual miles, combing the streets of America in search of images that resonate. I just start driving through looking for potential pictures. Rickard remembers that first flash of inspiration. My wheels started turning and I was sitting there and I picked up my iPhone and I started taking a picture of the screen like this, sort of moving it around and moving the cursor and, and composing these scenes. Ironically, Rickard says it was the technology that produced a haunting, intimate feel. The actual dynamics of the camera within Google emphasized the way that I wanted to speak in these images. You have this distinct feeling, so more of a claustrophobia or a, a feeling of decay, and it is really happening. Rickard's work is new, O'Toole says, but grounded in the past. Walker Evans, Dorothea Lang, Robert Frank. Their iconic images documented the plight of the poor and divisions in race and class. Doug has a similarly, you know, sort of um, social documentary purpose behind this work. It's, it's art, but, it's, but it also has a, a deep sort of political message to it. This sort of drive-by picture taking is symbolic in a way of, uh, of the anonymous, you know, nature of how these people live. Even the, the textures of the images, which is almost broken down in terms of the digital artifacts and the pixelation. It feels poetic, I think is the right word. Rickard manipulates the original Google images to heighten that sense of isolation. Like his predecessors, he wants to shed a spotlight on those often out of view. They're invisible, you know, they're cordoned off uh, geographically, they're cordoned off in terms of a voice. They're cordoned off in terms of economic power. So there's, there's beauty, but there's also, you know, sort of desolation and, and loneliness. There's little hope. The images need to almost challenge the viewer, almost provoke them like this. Things are changing rapidly. Photography is being affected. Our tools and our abilities to speak are being opened up and shifted into new territory. It's, it's a never-ending ocean of potential 